learning about multiple intelligences in the land of Oz. We're off to see the wizard and to learn about multiple intelligences. The wizard of the multiple intelligences theory is Dr. Howard Gardner. A psychologist and educator, Gardner based his theory on the notion that intelligence can come in different packages. Gardner theorized that there are several relatively independent areas of intellectual competence. He later added two more areas, naturalistic and spiritual intelligence. Let's take a closer look at the original seven types of intelligence. Linguistic intelligence is the ability to use language, sensitivity to order, the ability to argue, persuade, entertain, or instruct with spoken words. Logical or mathematic intelligence. The intelligence of logic and numbers, ability to handle chains of reasoning, ability to recognize patterns and order, ability to think in terms of cause and effect, and the ability to create and test hypotheses. Musical intelligence, a sensitivity to pitch, melody, rhythm, and tone. The ability to sing in tune and keep time to music. The ability to listen to musical selections with discernment. Bodily or kinesthetic intelligence is the ability to use one's body skillfully, such as in playing sports or dancing. The ability to handle objects skillfully. Hands-on people. Good tactical sensitivity. Spatial intelligence. Acute sensitivity to visual detail. The ability to draw ideas graphically. The ability to orient oneself easily in 3D space. And the ability to visually perceive the world accurately and to recreate or transform aspects of that world. Interpersonal intelligence. The ability to understand people and relationships. Be adept at perceiving and responding to the moods, temperature, intentions, and desires of others. Intrapersonal intelligence is the ability to access one's own emotional life as a means of understanding oneself and others. The ability to discriminate among different emotional states. And the ability to use one's feelings to enrich and guide one's life. Now that you know a little more about multiple intelligences, Let's visit the Land of Oz to try to figure out the intelligence of some of the students there. Your first student is so reticent to participate in class that you could almost call him cowardly. He is introspective and unassertive. He tends to hang back from the rest but usually has a thoughtful comment to make. He is the first person to champion the rights of others, but most likely by signing a petition. He has a strong ethical sense, and that's no lion. Which student in Oz do you think this is? It's the Cowardly Lion. What type of intelligence does the Cowardly Lion have? Musical intelligence and intrapersonal intelligence. We give all of these students credit for musical intelligence for their skipping and singing on the yellow brick road. Your second student's lack of coordination and bodily control keeps him in his seat throughout the class period. This is fine, though, because of his articulate manner of speaking and exceptional writing skills. Don't let his assertion that he hasn't the mental capacity for more challenging work fool you. His communication skills and thoughtfulness make him a natural leader. He's outstanding in his field. Which student in Oz do you think this is? It's the Scarecrow. What type of intelligence does the Scarecrow have? Linguistic intelligence, logical or mathematic intelligence, musical intelligence, and interpersonal intelligence. Your next student is always concerned about her classmates. She has been known to bring snacks in a basket to class, she is kind to small animals, particularly dogs. She is always meeting new people, and she usually invites them to join her on a journey. She is a great team player. Which student in Oz do you think this is? 
It is Dorothy. What type of intelligence does Dorothy have? Linguistic intelligence, musical intelligence, and interpersonal intelligence. This student has an uncanny knack for understanding his fellow students' feelings. He is very empathetic and always takes the time to listen to anyone in need. He worries that his people skills may become a little rusty, but those who know him would disagree. Which student in Oz do you think this is? It's the Tin Man. What type of intelligence does the Tin Man have? Linguistic intelligence, musical intelligence, and interpersonal intelligence. Your last student is known in the class for her calculating style. She is a born organizer, but she has a tendency to fly off the handle when her plans are disrupted. She likes order, control, and reason. If things don't add up, she has a meltdown. Finally, which student in Oz do you think this is? It's the Wicked Witch. What type of intelligence does the Wicked Witch have? Linguistic intelligence, logical or mathematical intelligence, bodily or kinesthetic intelligence, and spatial intelligence. Congratulations on recognizing the various intelligences. You have completed this learning activity. Learning about multiple intelligences in the land of Oz.